buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Wow, have I got a really cool bass for you today. I picked this one up, uh, I picked up actually three guitars from a pro player in uh, Sioux City, Iowa, who was uh, shortening his uh, herd a little bit. And uh, he called me up and said, I got some really cool guitars, come up and take a look at them. And one of them was this 1978 Fender Music Master bass. Now this bass, uh, they sold these in 1971 and then discontinued them in 81. And uh, they were the counterpart to the Mustang guitars. So they're extremely light. Uh, you know, for those of you who are, who are dreading uh, that third set with your uh, P bass, you might want to have one of these in your arsenal uh, because your back will thank you. They don't weigh much at all. So they're a, a much lighter gu a guitar, bass guitar, like the um, uh, Mustangs. And uh, they're just great for guitar players because they don't have the big giant frets that you've got on a P bass. So they came in black, red, and white. This one, of course, at one time was white, but they fade to this really cool butterscotch color, uh, which is really neat. But uh, I have to say he had some kind of of letters on here, uh, I think it says boss or something like that. So you can barely see that uh, on the uh, finish, but it, it kind of looks cool and uh, it'll probably eventually fade out, but it's there. Uh, other than that, it's all original. It's got the original tuners, it's got the uh, F uh, plate on the back for the neck, it's got the original knobs. Uh, it did have a different pick uh, pickup in this guitar when I got it. Uh, I will tell you that uh, most of the bass players replace these. They don't really like the pickups. Uh, so they replaced them, and, uh, but I felt like I wanted to put this back to original. So what I did is I found a uh, 1978 uh, pickup, got it on eBay, and installed it in the uh, bass guitar. And there's just one little, actually there's two little holes uh, beside the original uh, pickup that you can see that we uh, uh, colored in behind. So it, it's very, very hard to see that, but I was felt very strongly about getting the original pickup in here. Uh, so it's got that. It still has the thumb rest on it and uh, the original tail piece, and it's really fantastic shape. The only thing that was wrong with it, uh, the uh, guy who had it before me, uh, when he was playing it professionally, he was playing at a stage and uh, it had a low ceiling and of course he turned and caught the ceiling and it took a hunk of wood out of it. Of course, he didn't stick it in his pocket. I wish he had. We'd have glued it right back on, but it's gone. Uh, gives this head a little bit. It's got a nice little scar up here to make you uh, look like you're not a rookie, okay? So uh, that's about the only thing that's wrong with it. Now let me talk about these pickups. Uh, I believe they use the same pickups in the Mustang guitars as well as these basses. Uh, they actually had a six pole piece uh, pickup in these, which six pole pieces work just as well as four. Uh, it's no problem, and uh, the, I think the pickup sounds really good. I guess bass players are a little more have a little more discerning low end than my ears do, but I think it sounds really cool, and it does have the original pickup. So I've had it on this bass setting. But it gets really nice and clear as you bring up the, uh, the treble. It's kind of got a nice bite to it. And you know what, I'm not even playing through a bass amp, I've got a little uh, Princeton Deluxe, uh, a little uh, solid state Fender amp, so you can imagine putting this thing with your Ampeg, how good it would sound. Our, our, uh, uh, Steve is here saying, we ought to have a bass amp for you, Mike. It's like, well, maybe, but I think you get the idea. I could play this a lot. So this bass is really, really cool. Everything works on it. We've had it set up. It's uh, in great, great shape. The frets are in very nice shape on it. Uh, but I also am really, really happy. I've got the beat up original case with it. Now, I will tell you, this case has seen the war, okay? But it made it, okay? It's got a few scars, but it's all right. Some of the Tolex is missing. Uh, it's got some cracks in here. But I'll tell you, the original handle's here. The latches are here. You're not gonna wanna travel with this, okay? I'm gonna ship it to the owner, but please put the case under the bed and get yourself a gig bag or something uh, to haul your base around because the case, it's original, but you know what? It's on its, it's in its last of its life, okay? 
but you want to keep these cases with these guitars. They're really hard to find. I was happy that he had the case and uh, happy to send it with the owner. So please take care of it. Stick it under your bed. Uh, uh, when you get ready to sell it, you can uh, send it to the next guy like I am. So you get the original case. You get this 1978 Fender Music Master bass uh, in a really cool butterscotch color that's gone from white. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it sounds great, it plays great, it's got the one little dinger on the head, but you know what, it's got character. So anyway, I hope you check it out and all of our really cool guitars and basses at lawmanguitars.com or go directly to Reverb.com and just type in Lawman Guitars in the subject line where you're looking for guitars and all my inventory is going to come up. I keep everything in Reverb now. They do such a great job with my guitars uh, and my customers. I just love those people. They are great. and. Uh, uh, if you haven't been to Reverb.com, do it right now. Uh, stop everything. Uh, stop looking at this. Go to Reverb.com and check out all the cool guitars, and especially go to LawmanGuitars.com or Reverb.com, Lawman Guitars. You will see tons of really cool vintage guitars. Hey, I really appreciate you all watching my videos. I'm getting a lot of people watching them on YouTube and catching them in different places. I really, really appreciate that and all the great feedback I've gotten from you. been selling lots of guitars, and I'm really happy about that. So we're going to keep doing this and I really really appreciate you watching this one today. Thanks a lot.